Welcome to What is a Pacemaker? Lecture 2, Reasons for Pacemaker Implantation. My name is Dr. Jeff Williams. I am Director of the Invasive Cardiac Electrophysiology Laboratory and the Heart Rhythm Center of Lebanon Cardiology Associates and the Good Samaritan Hospital. The objectives for this lecture are to be able to describe common reasons for pacemaker implantation. To review Lecture 1, the electrical conduction system of the heart, the heart's natural pacemaker, the SA node, is located in the top right chamber of the heart, the right atrium. The sinoatrial node sends a signal to the upper chambers, the right and left atria, and the lower chambers, the right and left ventricles, via the atrioventricular, or AV node. The AV node transmits the electrical signal to the bottom chambers via the left and right bundle branches. The left bundle branch is comprised of left posterior and left anterior fascicles. Fascicles is another term for divisions or branches. Often, the patient has a slow heart rate because the electrical connection between the top, the signal from the SA node, and the bottom, the ventricles, of the heart is diseased, called AV block. The most common type of pacemaker involves placing leads in the right atrium and right ventricle. Common reasons for pacemaker implantation include slow heart rates due to sinoatrial node dysfunction, atrioventricular node dysfunction, hypersensitive carotid syndrome, neurocardiogenic syncope, also called fainting. Less common reasons include after heart transplantation, neuromuscular diseases such as myotonic dystrophy, rarely sleep apnea, sarcoidosis, and atrial fibrillation. Remember, a pacemaker is most beneficial when a patient has symptoms attributable to slow heart rates. Sinoatrial node dysfunction is quite common. The sinus node is the heart's pacemaker or metronome. As patients age, the pacemaker may be too fast, and this can be treated with medicines that slow the heart rate. More often, however, sinus node dysfunction can cause the heart to beat too slowly. A patient can be symptomatic because the heart is beating too slowly. This is called symptomatic bradycardia, or does not beat fast enough during exercise, called chronotropic incompetence. A pacemaker can be used to reestablish a normal heart rate. Atrioventricular block refers to conduction delay between the top, the atria, and the bottom, ventricles, chambers of the heart. There are several different types of AV block, and these include first degree AV block, second degree AV block, and complete heart block. Third degree AV block, also called complete heart block, occurs when the electrical connection between the atrial and ventricles is disrupted and the chambers beat independently with no electrical connection. Most often, third degree heart block requires a pacemaker. The EKG shown depicts the atrium, or P waves, beating at 80 beats per minute, and the ventricles, the QRS complexes, electrically disconnected from the atrium and beating independently at 35 beats per minute. This patient successfully underwent a pacemaker implantation. Carotid sinus hypersensitivity syndrome can lead to an abrupt slow heart rate and low blood pressure, causing fainting. It can be associated with 40 to 50 percent of the falls in the elderly. Pacemaker implantation in patients with carotid sinus hypersensitivity is usually effective at relieving symptoms. The EKG shown rep represents an 82-year-old female with a history of falls that was admitted to the hospital after recurrent unexplained fall, causing a hip fracture this time. Her workup is normal, but a carotid sinus massage results in an approximately 8-second pause on hospital telemetry as shown above. She undergoes pacemaker implantation and experiences no further falls. Want to learn more? What is a Pacemaker? A Cardiologist Guide for Patients and Care Providers is available in print and electronic versions at Amazon.com. See more lectures at heart-rhythm-center.com. Thanks for listening.